Yeah, I told the guy, if he comes back, he's got to buy something. He used to come in here a lot and buy records. Now he comes in and just smells the records. I don't know what you're getting out of this, but uh, yeah, this is it. How long have you been collecting for? Uh, for about 20 years. I've been trying to organize this, but some of these things I've had for uh, forever. What does that remind you of? This one reminds me of Ensenada. You know, family, family trip. I have the best food ever there. We went bike riding, we went fishing. It was just a, a great time. This one I got it on a thrift store in Arizona. Yeah. Florida. I lived there with my ex-wife. What's that? Vegas. My body mirror has <laughs> tripper that day. Um, I don't know why that trip is always in the back of my mind. You know, I, I don't know, some of these things, they, they just lose the, lose the scent. It's like there's nothing there anymore. Because we know smells, they don't last forever. But when it does hit me, it's just indescribable. It's like a time machine. Just imagine that. It takes you right there to the point where you were. Here. Smell this. What does it smell like? It smells like sweat. It smells like the time when my dad brought my first pet home, Fernando. It is not the vessel, it's the person. What are you doing here? Dad, I've been calling you all week. I have to find my notebook. I don't know what it is. Will you let me in so I can look for it? I'm busy. I'll be quick. Uh, no, Margo. I'll call you if I can find it. What are all these cameras for anyway? <laughs> I'm running for president, actually. Margo, you all set? I don't really have much to say. Um... You know, you guys are kind of feeling this, right? He needs help, not uh, some documentary. <laughs> He's a memory junkie, okay? He just sits in his house all day long, just getting high. <laughs> oh, Colton, hey. Hi, um, if you see my notebook in there, can you please grab it for me? Okay, thank you, sweetie. We good? And for our last ingredient, we'll be adding some freshly grounded parsley. After that, you're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes and it's ready to serve. He's a good kid. His family has always lived in the neighborhood. It's quiet, but not half a bad cook. Oh, but no, no parsley. Did you have no parsley? It, it, it needs parsley. Hey, swap it for something else. That's okay. Thank you uh, for cooking with Colton. See you next uh, time. Hey, tell them your name. Uh, it, it's Colton. Colton, Colton. It, uh, Colton Huffman, four-time Michelin star chef. I've seen all the episodes of him. Hey, tell them your real name. It's Colton. It's Colton. I'm going to be like him someday. What is that smell? I swept the parsley. Did you choose oregano? Uh-huh. I told you not to use oregano. Well, I told you before it, not to it, use it. It, it. it needed it. You go back to your home, to your mom, make sure the door is locked. It needed it. The whole house smells now.
This used to be a whole boardwalk with carnival rides, stores, a theater. Got demolished in the 90s. Certainly it doesn't smell like it used to. Got demolished with everything else. Nor every smell is a good memory. Maybe it was at some point. I'm sorry guys, I have to go to bed. I'm sorry. Look what I did. No parsley, no, no oregano. You know, Colton Hoffman always says, take control of what you do have power over instead of wanting control for what you don't. What do you want? Where was it? Yeah, around. So you wanna go grab some coffee? I'll call you. Sure. Um, can I at least get a hug? 